Okay, guys, so we have a situation boiling down in Los Angeles with the Chargers, and it has to deal with Melvin Gordon. So for those that don't know, Melvin Gordon this morning, and this was shared to me by uh, Joseph Sandberg. Shout out to you, long subscriber and viewer of the channel. Uh, he mentioned that um, he was you know, he was wanting to get a new deal or be traded. And so, you know, and we were talking about how, well, he's a good running back, but not a great running back in his injury history and all these other key factors that could determine his value on the market. And so, you know, according to his agent, uh, there's a strong possibility that he could set out the regular season. So we might be seeing another Le'Veon Bell situation. Now, this isn't confirmed to happen, but there is a possibility it could happen. And that's huge, okay? The reason why that's huge is because if he is to get a payday, depending on the price point at which he's asking for, it could impact Zeke's deal, okay? I'm not sitting here saying that Zeke's not going to get paid. I think he should get paid. I think he will get paid. It's just a matter of time. But the fact of the matter is, is like, this could impact the way we structure the deal and stuff like that. And I'm not saying we have to watch this intensively because we saw what, what Le'Veon Bell was doing and we kind of get a sense of how much he's getting paid. We know Zeke's going to get paid that kind of money. But the reason we just got to keep an eye on this is because Zeke, I don't think, would do this. I do not think Zeke would hold out. I think Zeke understands he's going to be taken care of. The reason why I say just keep an eye out is because Melvin Gordon is in this category of decent running backs, I would say. Like, he's good, but not great. We take a look at his statistics right here, and you can definitely see it. Look, Zeke Elliott is blowing him out of the water here in terms of certain statistics. I'm not saying like he's great, but look, he has like 30 less carries, 400, about 400 more yards, same amount of rushing touchdowns. Yeah, he's a bit less in the receiving department, but the thing is, is I feel that Zeke is now starting to become more involved in our passing game and stuff like that. So you might see that number creep up a bit more as time goes on. Not only that, Zeke has uh, better per game statistics. He has better uh, playoff totals, especially considering the fact that he's only played an additional game more than Gordon has. Uh, and the fact is, is when I look at this, look, Melvin Gordon's good, but he's not great. And that's what I think is going to determine this. And I'm not going to sit here and say that this is going to be like, this isn't a big issue. I just wanted to touch on this for a brief moment because I wanted to say what I felt on this whole situation, how it might impact Zeke. Because I've been hearing people, you know, and I was talking at, about it with um, Joseph, was that, well, if Gordon's getting traded, where could he go to? And not only that, is he worth it? And then I thought about this um, for my own sake is how does this impact Zeke's deal? I don't think it impacts it in the slightest. I think Zeke is going to get his money whether we like it or not. And it's kind of, it would be shameful to throw Zeke off to the wayside, okay? I know what's his name, Marcus Mosher, I think his name is. That clown making that whole tweet of, oh, I'll just give Zeke uh, $25 million over three years. That's disrespectful, man. Don't do that. <laughs> That's like Melvin Gordon. And we were talking, me and Joseph were talking about, well, you know, his injury history. Like, what would he be worth? And I think that if you're going to trade him, I don't think he's worth more than a third or fourth round pick. Not to be that kind of guy. I understand he was a firm, former first round pick, but it's just because you got to think about it. He has this injury history where he broke his leg. He had a couple nagging in injuries. His stat sheet is a solid. He has some Pro Bowls to his name, but he's not that oh, he's like upper tier, I could trade a second round pick for, for possibly a first, if I'm that ambitious. But and not only that, the running back market isn't that crazy. I think it's been pretty much uh, set, but I definitely do think we just got to keep an eye out on this, just in case if he does get paid like uh, David Johnson, like, if, as long as he gets paid in that echelon, we're good. If it's more than that, then we might have to keep an eye out. But don't worry about this too much, because I know people will bring, you know, people were bringing this up with, uh, with to me um, while I was at work. Not just Joseph, but a couple other people, and I was telling them like, well, let's, let's just keep, let's just observe this. Maybe nothing happens. Maybe it's, and typically that's what it is. It's like a non-issue. He's either gonna play out his contract. He'll just hold out until he just leaves, but. We'll see what happens. I didn't want to go on for too long. I don't think I did. Yeah, I didn't go on for too long. If you haven't already, 
hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, hit the notification bell. What do you guys have to say about this deal? Do you think this is going to impact Zeke? I don't think it will. And you might be saying, well, why are you making a video if it doesn't matter? Well, just to entertain the thought and let people know, hey, just don't worry about it. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be seeing you guys later. Peace out. Bye-bye.